the magazine is caliber specific. So when you change your barrel, yeah. this always comes with it. And this is the fixed chassis that basically that everything goes into. So what you do is you just put that in here, you load your gun, put that in, shut the rifle and you stalk. Okay? When you're ready to fire the rifle, you just push this one here forward and this cocks the gun. Right. So this is completely decocked, safe, you can carry it loaded, even if you drop it, it cannot fire. Yeah. So you push that forward, now the gun is cocked, you can fire and cycle the bolt. So it's sort of like reinventing bolt action rifle. Well, it's been around since for quite some time. These straight pull things are not new. What's what's new, or with, since 1993 with the R93, which is the predecessor to this, they've gone away because straight pull rifles with a turn bolt system are hopelessly unreliable, and you always got head spacing issues. Right. What they've done is basically what you've got is a radial lockup. Yeah. So rather than having it on a cam that turns, it spreads into the barrel. Right, so you're okay. taking away the head spacing issue immediately. That is different. That's good. And what That's rifle good. is this? This is an this is a Blaser R8, and what you've got is a completely modular system that you can take. The R8 is um, is a switch barrel system. Right. Um, so if you want to have it as a as a one barrel rifle, you can. But if you want to go and do different things, for example, you've got your two four three four stalking, and now you say, okay, I want to go to Africa and want a three hundred win instead of buying a complete new rifle, you just buy yourself another barrel and another bolt head. Right. So that goes on here. It reminds me of the DTAs. Yeah. So that's completely detachable, that's modular. You've got a QD mount that comes off. So everything, literally everything is interchangeable. So that goes back on. And if you're changing the caliber group, say for example, this is a 223, which is the smallest bolt face that they do to make it for this. You literally switch, instead of buying a complete new bolt, you can switch to bolt face. Right. You just put another one of these in. Is that the roll? No. Put that back in. <laughs> just slide that back in. <laughs> so you've got one chassis to do all. Right. And all these are the same that you've got here. They're all it, yes, I mean this is this is the RA Professional with the standard synthetic stock. This is their upgraded model from that, which is basically the one with a thumb hole with a very ergonomic stock. Right. It's good, isn't it? It's good stuff. It's nice. Oh, really cheers. good, that is. I've never seen that before. You've never seen it? Not, the, not this, no. I've seen straight, straight balls, but... Very well, we're very happy with it. It's a trident. It's a, it's, a modular, it's a modular suppressor with an integrated uh, muzzle brake that doubles up as the thread adapter. This is, I mean, you've got, it, you've got one broken down over there. It's just explaining. So it's very, very simple. Um, complete strip down is magazine out. Now inside that, there is actually a magazine insert, which is caliber specific. 223. Right, yeah. Okay, so you just change your magazine insert if you want to move up the calibers. That's a bolt out. Scope off. The barrel off is. 
I have to excuse my first class key ring. <laughs> I guess that's the mic, isn't it? Yeah. I'm close to you, sir. Yeah, yeah, Now, to change calibre, all you do is different barrel, the bolt head comes off, flick, little twist, and you see a hook in here. Oh, yeah, yeah. Slides out. And all I now need to change is that, that, and a barrel, and off you go. Alright. So it in, get the little hook lined up, see a little groove in here. Oh yeah, yeah. See it come in line, push it back down. Would you like to put it back together? <laughs> Filming still, eh? Yeah. Go on. So that's, do, that's your barrel. Just insert it into there. I mean, them lugs in there, That's yeah? It. Once you've got it in, keep your hand wrapped round it. Okay. Turn it over so you can get to the holes. That's it. Oh, I just, find it easier. I'm left handed, so I'll be jack handed. If you hold it here, you've got a really good grip of it. Right. The key into the top. Oh, just, just away. Yeah, just twist away. Reminds, I was saying, it reminds us of, of the uh, desert tactical arms, it's in them, where they've got the interchangeable barrels. And just That's it, finger tight. Feel same it. again there. So finger tight, that's it, it's over. Turn the rifle over. Don't need that no more. No, we're finished with that. Right, to fit the scope, there's two lugs. All you need to do is line the two lugs up, which we'll see there, and then twist. I'll let you do that bit, because that no, looks like an expensive <laughs> scope, that does. There you are. Right. So it's locked on. And that is in exactly the same place it was before I took it off. No need for re so don't need to re -zero. Has not moved. Just double check the that right, which we have. If you then slide the bolt in, so fairly simple, just line these oh, up, no, no, push forward. All the way? Yep, that's it. Perfect. Very simple. We've got two lugs, which line up with the grooves, push it in, done. Should be grooved in. Push and click. Very, very simple. Okay, now so cool. some shooters are worried about losing the magazine. So obviously you can imagine if you're in Africa and there's something that might eat you there. Yeah. All you need to do is there's a little black catch in the bottom. Right, yeah. Push your finger in, locks. That's now not going to fall out. Ah, okay. I can then top load it. And then to unlock, put your finger in, flick. <laughs> That's cool. Clever design. The reason for the price tag is that you do all that and it still shoots in the same place. That is brilliant. And what model is this? this? So Plaza R8 Professional Success. That's cool. Brilliant. Okay. Brilliant. Thank you very much for that.